Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Common Sense Crypto Channel. As with you always, this is Rich doing another video today on XDC. So I hope you're all having a wonderful day today wherever you are in this great, great world. We're going to talk about XDC. Now I know I haven't made a lot of videos recently around XDC, but don't get me wrong. This is one of my favorite cryptocurrencies. You look at the price sitting there under three cents. This is the biggest buying opportunity in my opinion. I feel XDC at some point is absolutely going to skyrocket. It's an easy 100x from where it sits right now. So let's take a look. Bitcoin X being built on the ISO 222 XDC network. It will blow the so-called lightning network out of the water. Bitcoin that can actually be used as a low-cost environmentally friendly currency. Low market cap right now. Do your own research. Now, I believe this is going to add some value to the XDC network. I don't think this is going to make Bitcoin ISO compatible, though. And that Lightning Network, in my honest opinion, is a World Economic Forum Trojan horse to track all the world's Bitcoin. April 20th, Wanchain and Zenfin official joined forces to launch decentralized non-custodial XDC bridges. Those bridges are important. Because I feel we're headed into the fourth industrial revolution and we're so early into crypto right now, we can watch the new financial system literally getting built from the ground up. This crypto partners with this crypto, partners with this bank, partners with this company. It's getting built little by little every day. That's the new financial system. A lot of people don't see it yet. Did you know that Zinfin Official Network is the only platform that utilizes cross-chain communication protocols, making it the most interoperable solution in the industry? That's pretty cool to know. The Zinfin Official Network is faster and more scalable than other blockchains, with transaction speeds reaching up to 10,000 transactions per second. This makes it perfect for high-volume applications like supply chain management and payments. Now, I feel... XDC is going to be utilized in all the world's trade payments of the future. And they're going to be massive payments because that's a massive industry. You look at the price now under three cents, you're not going to touch XDC in the future, probably under 70 to a hundred dollars because we're not quite there yet. Laws are just getting put in place to send trade digital. But think about it like that. Did you know about XDC Network? XDC is a decentralized open source platform that uses cross-chain technology to enable interoperability between blockchain, different blockchain networks. That's also very important. Interoperability is the future. One of the key features of the XDC Network is its use case of the XDC-01 protocol, which allows for fast and secure transaction processing. This makes it ideal for a use in a variety of industries, including supply management and healthcare. Healthcare is a massive industry as well. At some point in our lives, we're all going to need healthcare. That's how you got to look at it. XDC has a focus on interoperability and is designed to integrate with other chains and legacy systems. This makes it a great choice for businesses looking to leverage blockchain technology. Again, because we're so early into crypto, we beat the institutional money here. We beat enterprise into blockchain as well. We're going to see so much growth through the year of 2023. But I believe XDC is actually going to move to the upside in 2023. I think what's going to set off the next run is Ripple winning the case against the SEC. All of a sudden, all these utility-driven cryptocurrencies are going to start popping off. The XDC token is the underlying utility token that powers Zenfin Official's hybrid blockchain. The XDC token acts as a settlement mechanism for dApps built on the Zenfin hybrid blockchain. And again, the token itself, like I said, is a well-rounded cryptocurrency. Not only do you have the new financial system that XDC is tied to, but it's also tied to Metaverse and Web3, NFTs, the list goes on and on, well-rounded. I wonder what Zinfin XDC is building with ALBT. Now, like I always tell you, if you invest in XDC, 
you should invest in the other ISO coins as well. I feel ALBT is going to be an ISO coin at some point. Because we're going to have a lot of options in the future. You might not even have to sell your crypto in the future. You might be able to earn passive income a lot easier. QNT, XDC, both partnered with Inside R3. Overledger supports XDC's hybrid network. Functions in Overledger are now available on XDC Apothem Testnet, both involved in the CBDC conversation. Although not needed, could QNT become an XRC20? Now, I believe as, the as time goes on, you're going to see XDC tied to XRP, tied to XLM, IOTA, ALGO, HBAR, CASPER, DAG, because it has to come together inside of that new financial system. Each one of these cryptos are going to have their own use case inside of there. For DAG, it's going to be data. For XRP and XLM, it's going to be transactions and moving the world's money. For QNT, it's going to be the operating system that runs all of it. For XDC, it's going to handle all the world's trade, in my opinion. And I still believe that's what it was built for. XDC is one of the few networks based on ISO 222, which has several interesting projects in the area of tokenization, NFT, trade finance, security, Web3. Now, tokenization is going to grow year over year. They're already talking about tokenizing water and trees and time. We're also going to see everything go digital in the future, little by little. We're so early into crypto. We get to see all of this happen. Could you imagine if you never invested in crypto at all? You would have no clue what's going on in the world. Because we're not investing in cryptocurrencies anymore. We're investing in technology of the future. Will Bitcoin survive? Bank officials seem to think not. XDC and other sustainable ISO cryptos that have achieved carbon neutrality, the future looks bright, bright green. And like I said before, ECB official says energy intensive crypto should be banned. At some point, they're going to make Bitcoin irrelevant. I believe they see it as a threat to CBDCs. And they're not going to allow it to be mined anymore either. The world is pushing in that direction. That's why I always tell you, it's easy to invest in crypto today. You invest in utility-driven cryptocurrencies that actually have real-world use case. You sit back, you wait, and all of a sudden, you get life-changing money from those cryptos. You know, years ago, it was much harder. You got into crypto, you had no idea what you were doing. Most of the time, you watched a video of a guy telling you to buy this meme coin that's supposed to 100x by the end of the week. What do you do? You put money in, and what happens soon after? That crypto goes to zero, and you lose money. It's a lot safer for crypto investors today, because now we have utility-driven crypto. XDC, the law of England and Wales, is global center for finance, innovation, and international business. If the UK can get fully digitize trade documentation, it sets an important precedent across all 54 Commonwealth countries and all contracts that use English law. That's how early we are. The laws are just getting put in place around trade going digital. We're early. These are the times you continue to buy and stack XDC. Because I still believe in the short term, it's going to pull an easy 100x from where it sits right now. XDC Paris Europlace joined DNI to stimulate the French digital trade tech ecosystem in order to grow the development of digital trade solutions, embracing the new MLETR compatible French legal framework. We're going to see other countries do the same thing, pass laws about trade going digital. It makes everything much easier. And then all of a sudden, enterprise is going to get on board. You're going to see institutional money pour in to a lot of these cryptos as well, pushing the price way up. It could take years for the population to adopt CBDCs, but what XDC is targeting in trade finance is not that far away. So a lot of people believe XDC will be one of the first movers. They feel that trade going digital 
is going to happen quicker than people accepting CBDCs. And that could very well happen. I believe everything right now is a race. We see it happening with currencies. I Like I said in other videos, I don't believe we're ever going to see a World War III. I think there's already a war going on. It's a currency war. You see this country rushing to get its digital currency out as soon as possible. Innovations moving very fast. CBDCs are popping up in country after country as we speak. On top of that, we see banks also in a war trying to get, be the first to move money the fastest because even the smallest bank will be able to compete with the biggest banks of the world in the future. So maybe in crypto, there's also a race going on. Which crypto? will be moving world's money the soonest. Hey, I look at it like this. I invest in XDC. I invest in XRP. I invest in XLM. I will continue stacking at these low prices for as long as possible because every little bit that I invest is one more step towards financial freedom. And you should be doing the same exact thing because that's what it comes down to. We invest to be financially free at some point. And I hope 2023 is the year we all get there. With that said, I'm going to wrap up this video. I want to thank you all for watching. I appreciate all of you watching. I'll try to put out more XDC videos as time goes on. We'll see you in the next one. Have a great night.